Good morning. So I just got home from a morning workout. If you follow me on Snapchat, it's that dance cardio class that I do. I wake up around like 5.50, get myself like a little ready, get myself in workout clothes. Sometimes I make coffee before I go and sometimes I don't. This time, like I did not have time. I was just like, ah, gotta go, gotta go. So I already did my morning workout, fasted cardio is what I do, so I don't eat before I work out, I eat when I get home. So today's what I eat in the day video, I'm going to be showing you what I eat on a film day. So um, while I'm filming this video, I'm actually going to be filming a different video, I'm going to be filming how to stay motivated on a diet and you just like don't feel like doing it anymore and you want to quit. Um, I'm going to be filming that video, but behind the scenes, I'm going to be filming this video like what I eat in between takes. Um, and a lot of the meals I'm going to be showing you that I eat are from my meal plan, my ad meal plan. So I will put that down below if you're interested, but yeah, this video can kind of be like a preview for that if you're thinking about getting my meal plan. So we're going to have some coffee, we're going to have some breakfast, and yeah. I like to use half and half. So if you want some other coffee ideas, uh, these are my two favorite ways to have coffee with half and half or cream and um, cream on top. Or I like to do the coconut sugar, but if you want another idea, and I have a whole video on this, um, put a little coconut oil in your coffee and it's going to keep you regular. I will put that video down below because I go in more detail. The reason why I'm not going to use this today is because this is going to be TMI, but whatever. Um, I feel like I'm about to get my period talk about my period and I don't need any more stomach issues or like stomach feelings when I'm about to get my period. Okay, so for breakfast I'm going to make myself a bowl of cereal. The cereal is also in my meal plan like I tell you like if you're gonna have granola what brand to buy, if you're gonna have cereal what brand to buy. Um, so yeah. And then for the milk I'm using cashew milk. I, I switch between almond milk, cashew milk, I I really can't taste a huge difference. I know some people prefer this one or the other one, but um, my mom likes coconut milk actually better. I really, I can't tell the difference. Let me know if you're having breakfast right now or meals, what are you eating? So sometimes when I'm just like sitting here or standing here having cereal and drinking my coffee, I'll just kind of like think, you know, just kind of think, but in like a positive way. Like just think of like all the good things that could happen today and you know, all the things that keep me motivated. I think starting the morning off right, not only with a good meal, because when you eat a good breakfast, you're more likely to eat better meals throughout the day. But same thing with thoughts. You know, you think a good thought right in the beginning of the day, and then you're going to have good thoughts throughout the day, or more likely. You know, if you start off with a bad thought, you start off like, oh, this is, could go wrong today. That's going to go wrong today. Oh, I have so much to do. The whole day will be dictated by that one thought, you know, so I don't like, I don't like to do that. I'm here just having like these few moments to myself to, to think and to tell myself positive affirmations. I'll look at my vision board, which is right here. I do have it turned the other way because, you know what, I'm more likely to show things like that on my Snapchat. Hey guys, so I just got home from getting my hair done. It looks so good. Um, and now we're going to make some food. I'll show you a little outfit of the day. Top shop. Jeans, little booties are from Tom's. Um, and this shirt is from Target. And my choker is from a store in the Jersey Shore. It was like a, just like a local store. So, I like to use, what are these called? I don't know, they're called low carb, but, uh, rats. Then I have cold cut turkey meat, cheese, and then I have some So there is my wrap, and the reason why I'm doing a voiceover is because I get so hot when I'm filming. Here I'm like, so good. <laughs> I get so hot when I'm filming that I had to turn on the air condition, forgot that it makes an annoying noise. Right now I am making matcha tea. I started making this in the afternoon. Matcha apparently is supposed to give you energy like coffee, except like a little less like, you know, that caffeine coffee feeling. So I did try switching to matcha. But I don't notice as much energy as I would with coffee, but I'm trying it out. And then I add in coconut sugar and honey.
out in that sweet spot where it's like still warm but being comforting. Okay, so I just got done filming, I did a little editing, and now I'm going to make um, another meal actually that's in my plan. It's sort of like a yogurt parfait except with cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is loaded with protein. The more protein you have throughout the day, the more full you'll feel. So protein is a great thing to have on a diet, except I don't like eating cottage cheese alone. I don't think a lot of people do. So you do a little cottage cheese. Then I add one handful of granola and it just tastes, makes it taste so much better. This one is vanilla blueberry clusters. You wanna follow the serving size, but it's it's good. I think my video came out good, but it's kind of a bummer how much construction they were doing. I'm like, like the drilling, so annoying. Cookie dinner, cookie dinner. And last but not least, I am making dinner. I am following my plan for Taco Tuesday, if you're following along, and I make these low-carb taco shells, which I show you how to do in the plan. And I am using lean turkey meat with salsa mixed in. I have a whole video on how I make this turkey meat. I'll leave that down below. Super easy. And the great thing about turkey is it fills you up. It tastes good, but it's really lean. If you're gonna make tacos with beef, it's more of a fatty meat, so I just tried to stick with turkey, and I'm eating two taco shells. And for dessert, I am making my mango spicy bowl. And all you do is you cut up mangoes, you add lime juice and the chili pepper lime stuff. I'll put it down below. I think it's called Tijon. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.